well lads i just edit in this video here and um i had some footage I had some a couple of things recorded there for a shout out for a couple of lads um i want to give a shout out to a lad called james who tries a fork that's in kilkenny and uh he's um he's loaded me up a couple of times and the first time i ever met him um he recognized my voice straight away from the video so i just thought it was cool um so hello to him and then another lad davy who i work with and who has been helping me navigate this country and all the the yards that i go to so uh, yeah fair play lads into a bay over there. I have my doors open, I have my, my number plate off because I actually lost the number plate already and <laughs> got another one. The food. Weird. <clears throat> Hope you can actually see it out of mirror is shocking dirty. Just that little bit. <laughs> and it's okay, lads. What the fuck is that? Whoa! One of the fucking yokes have come off. Try this again. Um, I pulled off the cover of the ABS Susie. It's not broken, it just came out. So. Not too bad. Attempt number two, numero uno. Cheers, man. I see I went too far, I think. You know? Now we have a bit of a deal going on here. Sure way of coming in at such a. I don't know, it's not it actually. Yeah, there's 
like stoppers there. That's it. those chalk yokes. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, we've there. Smooth as butternuts. Do you think I'm a bit mad here?
Shit, man. Right in there. Too low, is it? It's too high. Too high, isn't it? I'm too low. Look at that. So the battery went when I was at the bay, and I, I'm pretty sure it got me reversing in and then opening and taking off the other trailer. And then I, I, I think. Um, so I was reversing into this trailer to pick it up and uh, it wouldn't connect in and the reason why is because the suspension was just too high like um, I'm not sure how much of that it caught um, but I went in a couple of times and it wouldn't connect in um, so then I just got out and had a look and the suspension was just too high so I dropped it down and went in and it went straight in so yeah, success. Um, in 100 meters of the roundabout, take the second exit onto the N2 ramp to Dublin M15. <clears throat> yeah, um, I'm not the most familiar with this part of the M50 yet, so I just I still use Google Maps just to make sure. Um, but uh, you know I'm getting there. With no one these places. In 600 meters, merge onto N2. And I broke off the fucking the cover for the ABS as well. Um, it was actually it was just caught in the corner of the trailer. I never know. I don't even know how it got caught there, how long it's been caught there. But uh, yeah, it's grand. There's nothing broken anyway. This just kind of came apart. So I was just putting it back together basically, putting the cover back on. As far as I can see, there's no. Um, there's no broken wires or the little pins aren't broken or nothing like so I'm hoping it's going to be grand now just have to get past the M50 I just have to get past the M50 and the N7 and I should be fine Corner sneak up in it, I would. In 600 meters, merge onto M50. What the fuck am I after doing? Oh, I'm after going northbound. Why am I such a fucking idiot? Oh my god. I... Oh my fucking god. I'm such a fucking spastic. Oh my fucking god, I'm so stupid. <sighs> Fuck off. Look at the way they move in and out. This is how crashes happen in the M50. Jay's like an awful spastic place. I swear to god, I'm actually fucking retarded. I'm so fucking retarded sometimes. God, I'm an awful idiot. I'm not really sure now. I'm on green at least. That's the start. What are they waiting for? Will you come on, fuck. Jesus Christ. It's always fucking one, isn't it? 
try to mount this hill on your boy. Watch, scoop. What the fuck is going on? Fucking red light here, is it? Surely I can just go around to the right and back on. Yeah, it is. This one here. Yeah. Let's stay up a bit now, we're having a fucking car. Because I'm an awful idiot. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I've. And I've see, this is why I used Google Maps. And it didn't even fucking work because I, mean, I wasn't looking. I wasn't even paying attention because I'm a fucking idiot. Northbound, no fucking things. Is this another, is this another fucking red light or something? Is it? This is, what's going on here now? It's fucking green when you go in. It's that fucking age in the Jeep up there again, look. Look, I'm on the wrong fucking lane. That's what's wrong with him, look. Well, he can't talk, I took the wrong fucking road on you Chains I am an awful age though. <laughs> oh, fair, what time is it? It's five o'clock, lads. It's five o'clock and I'm trying to get back up the M50. Ah, here, will you come on to fuck? That's it, boys. That's it, that's it, that's it. We done it. We done it. We're going southbound. In 500 meters, merge onto M50. I'm just thinking, is it southbound I have to go? <laughs> it is. Ah, oh, fuck off away from me. It's, it's a long day, lads. Actually, it wasn't a long day. It wasn't even a hard day at all, to be fair. I have... About three hours driving left for the day. This thing says I'm going to be home in an hour and 40. Well, I'm going to be back at the yard in an hour and 40 minutes. I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, M50 is getting a bit thick there now, unfortunately. These fuckers now. Do you see the, what some people do? Um, like, no, this one's coming behind me, so I'm going to take out off of this way, right? Which is fair enough. <coughs> but what some people do, I've noticed there today, is that. Say if they're kind of, um, they're letting you into somewhere or something, and instead of staying back and flashing you on out of the way, break down just after junction five, shoulder block, fuck the shoulder. And they'll come up halfway up your fucking trailer, and then they'll stop. Not stop, but they'll stay at that speed. And then you're, you're like, what the fuck do we do now? You can't speed up, you can't slow down. And then, oh, fucking hell, I know, I'm just fucking ranting now again. So Junction 5 is the junction I was just at, uh, where I came out of, now there's a breakdown after Junction 5, shoulder blocked, that shouldn't affect anyone, um, but it fucking does as well, because you have these rubber necking idiots, last week I was coming down the M7, uh, heading, heading back to Kilkenny, and there was a bad crash, our own Nace, really fucking bad crash, um, hit, a car hit a lorry or something and hit another car or something like that. car was in bits, lads. It was absolutely mangled. But there was a huge tailback on my side, southbound. Only because the second we got past the, the crash, the tra traffic opened up again. Just rubberneckers. Now, I did have a look going past. Of course, I did. But they didn't, like, slow down or anything. Like, the, the traffic at one stage was only going about 40 kilometers an hour. So that the people could get a look at what was going on. Nosy bastards, like, you just fuck off and go home. You now it seems kind of, it seems nice and kind of uh, calm here, and it is. But don't let that fool you, like. Because once we get down here about a mile or so into the M50, things are going to change. Again, people drive on this road like they don't want to live. Oh, it's only Monday yet, lads. <laughs> it's only fucking Monday yet. Now the traffic is moving well for 5 o'clock on the M50, I'll give it that, it's moving very well. She's flying it like. So Christian's famous. <laughs> oh, I drove one for a while, all right. I don't miss it. I actually don't miss driving the ridges. Um, I like getting to learn 
stuff about the Arctic and reversing it and everything. And I'm not great at reversing yet, as not, not even by a long shot, but definitely getting there. It's clicked in my brain about the counter steering and that, like you know, um, a little bit, not, not you know, not major, but a little bit. Bent the holy Jesus in the wheel. A great road to be on, lads. So it is. Look at this stuff. They go in and then they jam on the brakes. This is, you know what I mean? Like, this is why you have to keep away from these fucking idiots. You know, I'm better off to just stay back from them. Like, give you a bit of time. Because these yokes are hard to stop when. Uh, and they're full, you know. No. I will. Oh yeah. No. Old big tunnel. Scary. On ya, buy ya. On ya, buy ya. Drop her a gear. Drop a gear if you want. No one's going to, no one's going to be mad at you. Jay's a tra traffic stop in there now on the M50, is it? Going that way. Northbound. <laughs> that way. Continue on M7 for 20 kilometers. Jay's the wheel. Sound. And once I get here now, lads, I can get home. Let's see. No, I don't need no maps again. Just to, the first few times anyway, just to keep me kind of, Jay's ain't mad here now altogether. Uh, smoke, what that you Bike here now beside me as well. I can see him. I see him. Now, bike, don't fucking stop in my blind spot. Whatever you do. I see you, bike. I can hear you as well. Don't know where he's gone now. I, I can't, oh no, I can see him there now, look. On you, bike. What is it, CBR? Against outside land, there. What that? Let's go on left swing going in here. Get out of it, you dirty boy. Yeah. And that's the M50, lads. And that's what happens when you drive the wrong way on it. Oh, well, not the wrong way, but the way you weren't supposed to go. Uh, it was actually grand there now, five o'clock. You know, it was actually grand. Ah, oh, that's my M50 adventure over anyway for another day.